What does one do? Does one return to base? One crashes. Okay, we know what one does. It self-destructs. <laughs> everyone, my name is Dark Ravnik and welcome back to Space Engineers. Last time we left off, we were doing stuff and we had a visitor and we had an attack spaceship and we were doing drones and there was stuff and there was stuff and there was even more stuff. Anyway, you might be wondering, why is the tank right here? Well, the thing is, well, you know the way the auto drone went missing? I'm like, okay, oh, and the lasers were glitchy and all sorts of weird problems that was going on in the last episode. Like, there were some serious problems. I was like, oh, it's going to take me a few hours to uh, sort everything out to figure out what's going on. Well, it certainly took a few hours. Uh, like, I had, uh, like, the power, uh, the power management thing disable itself. Uh, I'm like, I'm sitting there wondering why the uh, power thing wasn't actually changing. I turned it, uh, it turned out the script turned itself off for some strange reason. Uh, it's like, I eventually found the uh, auto drone. Uh, I, I was going to go and sort things out. I, uh, you know, trying to deal with things. I went to save. And then I came back here to try and sort things out over here. Turned out I didn't turn the base turrets back on, nor the tank turrets. And then I spent the next two hours trying to put everything back together again. There was only a couple of drones, only four drones hovering over the base, blowing it to smithereens. Nothing too serious. I mean, I shoot the crap out of this place with missile launchers and all I do is put dents in it, you know, nothing too serious. But no, 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 four drones with machine guns, they just tear this place to pieces. They just cut giant holes through it and tear it in half and stuff like that. It's like. Had to go and, uh, I don't even know how it managed to destroy the projector block. It's like, ah, oh, everything's fine down there. Nope, nope. Giant gaping holes down there too. The projector block for this whole base is sitting underneath this. And yet they got all the way down in there and started cutting the projector block out too. It's like, far out guys. I was only gone for like five measly minutes. How did you guys manage to cause so much damage to this place? Uh... So I don't even know where the drones came from because there's been no drones since then. I have a, sink a sinking suspicion that may perhaps the um, crashed spaceship just over here might still have been summoning drones. I don't know why. Uh, either way, you know. It's like just five minutes away and this base was almost gone. It just took me like a couple hours to put everything back together again. So yeah, this was <laughs> pretty screwy. So I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just hover the hovercraft up to here and use it as a base defense turret just in case anything goes wrong while I sort anything, everything out and put everything back together again. So, uh, yeah, I've left the auto drone over there where I found it. And, uh, I think, oh yeah, uh, I, uh, the, amazingly, the spaceship was mostly untouched. The only thing that was destroyed on it was actually the, um, the, uh, the reactor and the projector block and stuff, you know, th those were literally the only things that were damaged. Uh, which was amazing considering the actually half this platform it was sitting on was gone, it was blown to smithereens. I'm like, wow, those drones were oddly specific in their targeting. So I'm like, okay, I'll just shift it over a little and uh, put the extra components here and that was that i'm like that was convenient of them if they're gonna blow up this place at least they left the spaceship alone <laughs> luckily the spaceship was done at the end of last episode so that was easy enough uh now the auto drone i have been thinking about it as you know there are issues with it i was wondering if maybe you know maybe build another one or convert this one to try the new uh, auto miner ship that a uh, script that uh, was on the workshop recently because it looks like a nice script but i'm unsure if i should do that or not i'm also unsure if this thing's going to pull itself up uh yeah the uh gyros don't think they're powerful enough why is this not able to move 
Okay, reactors add on, okay. Reactors. I mean, I mean, thrusters add on. There we go. I don't know why the gyros don't do anything when the thrusters are off. How much damage has this received? Okay, it's just missing a little bit. Nothing too serious. I like that. Thrusters are off. The gyros do nothing. Thrusters are on. The gyros get to work. Makes sense. I still have no idea how it got knocked down. It's like, it must have been, you know, a casualty of the battle and all that, but still. Or maybe, 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 because I'm um, the, uh... Oh, why is it not stopping? Maybe the problem was the um, actual uh, programming block because it does turn itself off on its own. Maybe like it was flying along and then all of a sudden the pr a programming block just died and then it's like, you know, it doesn't know what to do and it just fell out of the sky or something like that. That's actually a distinct possibility that could have actually happened. I mean, if all its autopilot is controlled by a programming block, then, you know, if a programming block goes wrong, then... Logically speaking, it would fall out of the sky, right? Or like if it was caught going down, it would just keep going, drilling down forever and ever. Or if it was trying to fly up, it would just keep flying up and up. Or if it's like trying to fly along the world, it would be like, hey, 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 we're just gonna drive, fly, fly, fly. Uh oh, program relax off. And then just go keep going in a straight line till it hits a mountain or something like that, which is probably what it did. It was just flying in a straight line. Programming block went off, and then bang into the mountainside. No, oh, actually, how much is in here? There is 175k. Cool. I noticed, uh, I, I thought there wouldn't be much in there, but when I was uh, in the uh, editing the episode, uh, after a couple of, uh, after a couple of uh, passes in the uh, gold section over there, uh, it actually uh, managed to uh, harvest actually a significant amount I noticed in the recording. Okay, I gave it a projector and the beacons, so that way it can put itself back together. Uh, oh, w where was that damaged? Oh, I know that was the beacon. Okay, repair. Yep. So it should be able to put itself back together now, the missing parts. Should also give it the uh, camera that's missing. Wherever that is. So there was a missing camera here. I know I saw it before when it was under construction, but I don't see it now. Guessing it's supposed to go right there. So camera, camera, camera. Camera! Okay, you will go... That way, maybe. Yes. There, yeah, hopefully that should be fine. Ooh. Oh, I thought they were, they were making another attack run at me for a moment there. That would be terrifying. At least I have my defense tank sitting ready this time. And I have tested the lasers. The lasers are working again, so... It must have been some strange and unusual glitch that I've never seen before that caused it to just die like that. Okay, I want the drone to work again, so... If I remember correctly, i got to recompile these. That... That. And that. Then I gotta go over to here. Oops. Oh, um, I gotta change, get the camera. Ooh, is that one? Yep. That one. A few. Yeah, that one. Okay, now, gotta connect this to base. Oops. P, you're connected, yes? You are connected, I can't tell. It should be, yeah, definitely connected. Okay, it says use five. Now you disconnect, and then you find your destination that you want to mine. Should be that easy. Ah, uh, what ore do I need most right now? I want... Uh, most important ore would be... Well, I got gold. That's no problem. 
Cobalt, meh. Silver would be the next most important one. Yeah, silver and possibly uranium because that's starting to run out. I've actually used a significant amount of my uranium. So silver is over here. And that's also silver. Okay, let's go to the closer one. Just hope it ain't too deep. Man, I, I had to tell the uh, thing to start digging a little bit deeper. Because it turned out it wasn't getting all the gold either. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Wish I knew how to get it to do uh, search rock mode. The settings for that is a little on the confusing side. Okay. How deep is silver? Silver is way deeper than necessary. 83 meters. Okay. Oh, should I go for this silver or should I go for that silver? That one might be shallower. But it's a lot more distance makes it a little bit more worrisome. Guess I'll go over there and find out. This thing got some serious difficult for slowing down. To be very careful with it. Hey, silver doesn't seem too deep. 50 meters. I might be able to pull this off here. 50 meters does seem pretty easy. But I still might want to try and tell it to go a little deeper. No, no, no. Let's just get to work. Oh, boop. There, now it should work. And I guess I'll leave it for now and come back later and see how it's working. Yay! Now, I would particularly like to go into space now that I've got my spaceship working. But I'm not entirely sure if it's a good idea to do that straight away. I mean, I don't particularly want to return from space and to find the base half exploded by drones. Like, you know, what happened while I was actually trying to find the mining drone. So before I go anywhere, I might actually want to work on some actual defense turrets around here. That would be a very good idea. Oh, yeah, I, I actually, I'm kind of surprised that this wasn't actually shot at. The things were trying to pick on the tank, but the, the actual force field was surviving. But yet they completely ignored this. <laughs> it's like, okay, logic. Yeah. Oh, uh, also the uh, giant spaceship over there that I was mining before, I can't actually mine anymore because for some strange reason it vanished. When I destroyed the, mi uh, the drone base, it just disappeared on me. So, you know, I can't get anything for that. Oh, speaking of defense turrets and stuff, I actually added a new mod. I, I, I For a while there, I thought, strange that I have such a limited selection of energy weapons, because I could have sworn I had enabled a couple energy weapon mods. Turned out one of the uh, bigger energy weapon mods I had actually forgot to enable. I didn't notice it. So now it's enabled. I should hopefully have a more wider selection of energy weapons to choose from. I don't know though because you know I haven't actually tested the mod yet. I suspect it's uh I suspect the mod that it is that I've selected is one of the ones that uh was showcast cast on um showcased on Captain Jack's channel a few months back around the time the giant laser guns were released. That was a few months now. Doesn't feel like it. Uh you know what, what giant laser guns I'm talking about those bloody Super long range, I can shoot you from space laser guns. God, uh, back in the days when, you know, nothing could uh, could shoot further than 800 meters, now you can have guns that can actually shoot you from space. <laughs> Lovely, eh? Oh yeah, uh, that reminds me, when I was looking for the uh, new auto miner script, you know, that I was telling you about, supposedly it can also be used for auto mining grinding, if you know what I mean. So if I was to throw it on here, I can use it as like an auto grinder for ships like this. It's like curious, I wonder. Like, would that be very good to try on here? 
It would certainly be interesting. Maybe that way I could just point it at a base and let it run. At first I'd actually have to test the mod. I was thinking of going into creativity mode and testing it out. But, you know, I spent two hours just trying to get everything working again in this map. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just not bother and just start playing again, you know? Like, I was supposed to record other games too, but I've been having some problems with my computer lately. I'm kind of worried that I'm pushing my computer's luck. Because it's getting a little long in the tooth uh, these days with games. It's a... For, uh, it's a fourth generation chip and you know we're up to what ninth generation so it's a bit pushing my luck in some things you know suppose I can go over to the infinity here give it a little bit of grind down see what nice resources I can get out of it and maybe I might get some large motor parts I don't know I haven't had any nice stuff spawn lately. Just mainly flying things. Makes me really tempted to go and build myself a fighter craft just to shoot them down. Like where's all the nice bases and stuff that spawn drones and stuff? Ever since I spawned the uh, More Encounters mod in, you know, ever since I added that one in, it's mainly been flying craft, not bases and stuff. I suppose it's only limit. Uh, you can only have so many things spawn in, you know? Where it's like, yeah, we can't spawn anything else until all this is destroyed. It sucks. I want more stuff! Okay, let's see how things are going over there. Hopefully they're going okay. Hopefully it hasn't gone missing on me again. It probably hasn't because, you know, multiple mixed signals, but still! Hopefully it hasn't! That'd be horrifying. Hopefully it's still running. It's got... Three holes, Doug! Three very deep holes. Neat! That's got to have a lot of silver in there now. Uh oh, I stuck. Why am I. Oh, 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 here we go. It's a thick layer of silver compared to the gold. Wait. Am I straight or is it straight? Or is the gold and uh, silver not straight? Okay, it's definitely straight. It's just that the silver's not straight. That's disorientating. You're trying to align yourself to the silver and it's like, Oh crap, something's wrong with it. But no, no, no. The silver's not straight. <laughs> the deep hole. I don't necessarily need it to go that deep, but oh well. It's quite full. Now, I suspect, if I'm right, if I push seven, it might fly home. Or if I push 7, it might explode. Okay, I suspect I might know what went wrong with the thing. If button 7 does cause it to return to base, I might not have configured the height that it flies at. Um, how high am I? It, it's not telling me how high I am. A poop. Poop, 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 poop. Uh, cause if if it's the height, that's the problem. And then when I activate it, if that was the correct button for telling it to return home, then it went down instead of up. So let's try this again. PB. Edit. No, that doesn't appear to be a problem. Well then what's 9 do? It stopped. It stopped. It's dead? I broke it? Okay, what if I click... Right this very second, if I click 7. It's going down, it's going down, it's going down! It's trying to return to base, but it's going down. It's a very strange way to f return to base, isn't it? If it tries to go down... That could be a problem. 
Maybe that's what happened with the gold? Well, at least I have a lot of silver. Now, is it capable of returning to town? Our base, whatever. It's flying in the correct direction. It's stopping. Where is it going? Where is it going? Base is over there. I've configured you before, so, um... Where are you going? Ah. Uh, are you going to crash? Are you finding rocks? Wait, what? Well, that's a new one. So that's not the return home button then. That's the mine rocks button. Does it, don't tell me I don't have to actually look for rocks anymore. I can just tell it to dig rocks. So nine is to tell it to stop. Seven is to tell it to dig rocks. Six is to tell it to dig. Five is to tell it base is here. So that leaves one then, right? Should I let it finish this magnesium rock first before I tell it to return back? That's impressive that it managed to hunt down rocks without actually having to scan for them. That makes it, uh, harvesting rocks super easy. I thought it'd be a lot harder than this to get to actually eat rocks. What's it say in the thing? Rock scavenging, drilling. Nice. It's nice that it managed to get all the magnesium. I ever managed to find a rock of magnesium and eat it. How much does it get? 71k, wow. I'm not going to be lacking ammunition for my rockets or machine guns. The silver, gold, magnesium, they're no longer problems. Not in the slightest. Even iron isn't a problem. Because I got a lot, and that's going to last me a while. It doesn't dig very far for that, does it? That's nav, right? For rocks? So, is there instructions in here for how deep it digs for rocks? No, that must be like a permanent setting because rocks are a specific sort of rock, if you know what I mean. So they all have a specific depth, so you know, it, it's not a customizable thing. It's designed to go only so deep before it's like, you know what, it's done. Don't need to dig any further. Well, that's done. Tell it to stop. Okay, we'll save just in case I accidentally blow up again. And we'll push one. What does one do? Does one return to base? One crashes. Okay, we know what one does. It self-destructs. <laughs> okay, I've tried something different. I've given it the argument, go home. And it is. You tell me it's going home and not crashing? Well, it's flying. What exploded? Something exploded when it touched the ground. Where is it going? Okay, there is a possibility that maybe, just maybe, it had managed to erase its own home destination so maybe I'll put go home back there just in case I'll fly home and I'll tell it you know this is base and then I'll see if it will return home after I've done that and you know not self-destruct like it's done 
How many times now? It's not like this isn't confusing at all. Uh, bloody script. <laughs> it could have been a little bit easier, you know? A little less self-explodery. I mean, it's nice and funny when things explode, but not when you're trying to get something to work, you know? It's a little problem solving and bug fixing never hurt anyone. Except for that time that I exploded fiery all over that mountain and died. Five. It now has home. Disconnect. Oh, it, it, oh yeah, everything's working. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's try this again. If I save... Will it return home? So, eight. 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 Seven? Oh, that's working. <laughs> What's it doing? Why does it not know how to fly? How the hell did it not explode? And what exactly did explode and where is it going? I am most curious to see what it's about to do. It's about to self-destruct. Okay, okay, I give up on the drone. We know that it mines, we know, we've seen it return to base. Although we've only seen it do that once. And <laughs> we don't know if it can do it again now that we've had all these problems. So technically this drone works. I'll just... Whenever I want resources, I'll just set it to work. And then when i you know done with it, I'll tell it to stop. So that way I don't accidentally cause problems, you know what I mean? Don't accidentally cause it to break and explode. Just let it run for a little while, come back, and tell, uh, manually return it to base or something like that. I don't know. Either way, don't push things. I mean, yes, 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 seven will get me boulders, but it'll also get me a one-way trip diving into the ground unless I hold spacebar. So I'll be careful with seven. I'll be careful with one. Nine is fine. Five is, you know, this is base. Six is mining. So yes, this is a really messed up ship. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is. Okay, so mainly I'll just use it for when I need to mine certain resources and keep a close eye on it as I do other stuff. Otherwise, I can't really auto mine with it. It's mainly more like grab a big batch of resources mine. It's actually pretty useful if you think about it, you know. But it's not really a drop and forget about it sort of miner. It's more of a drop and vaguely keep an eye on it sort of thing. <laughs> it's quite horrifying if you think about it. The amount of times I've exploded myself this episode trying to figure it out. Turns out that I can't figure it out. It's bloody confusing as all hell. Yay! Uh, there was so much stuff I wanted to do, but I got so into trying to figure it out that I just didn't get anything done besides just messing with the drone. I actually thought I'd get a lot more done. Like, you know, build turrets and stuff around here, you know, to defend the base. Oh, uh, speaking of turrets, I am unsure if this actually does any damage because it... Oh, it's disappeared, has it? It was shooting at the spaceship over there, it was, and it wasn't doing any damage. Whereas other lasers that were shooting do do damage. So I suspect that this might need to be hooked into the actual laser grid system before it's capable of doing damage. So for now I've just told this to actually only target missiles, that way you know, uh, hopefully it's capable of damaging missiles, I don't know. Either way guys, I think this episode might come to an end now. <laughs> this really weird episode with trying to get an auto drone working. I really should jump into um jump into creative and try to build my own auto minor drone you know using that new script give it a test run see how it works i suppose that's something i can look at in my spare time you know because if i do get a good auto minor drone working you know at least it won't automatically explode whenever i push a button <laughs> 
<laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. You hit that like and subscribe button or share it with your friends. Otherwise, I'll see y'all next time. Bye! And what exactly did explode and where is it going? I am most curious to see what it's about to do. It's about to self-destruct. <laughs>